Hey, Trap. How's it going? Oh, I'm just on the floor, as you can see. And I'm rolling. Using my favorite little toys. These are the little guys that I travel with. You hear me talking about rolling and fascia release. Self fascia, myofascia release. So it's also known as SMR. I've got some articles on my blog that talks about it. But uh, these are a few of my favorite ones. This is a rad roller. Yes, blue balls. Don't snicker. And this guy is super aggressive, but I like it a lot. And um, mobility wad, it's one of uh, Kelly Starrett's products. Very cool, he makes some neat stuff. And then I've got my little trigger point ball. This is to get in the, underneath my feet and in those tight little spots on the back. Sometimes they're harder to get with the bigger ones. And then the one that's on my ooh, quad right now, ooh, I hit a hot point there, <laughs> is this one. And this is a cool one from Rad Roller. It doesn't take up very much space. So even though when I'm traveling on the road, these always come with me. Some come on the plane with me too. So um, if you haven't invested in a, a roller yet, I highly recommend putting it on your Christmas list. And uh, I got a blog post coming out with some of my favorite ones. And uh, I'll, I'll share that with you guys when I get closer to publishing that. Anyways, I can put that back underneath there. Oh, yep. So I'm going to try to talk while I'm rolling. Ooh. So uh, you've probably watched some of the mobility wad videos I've shared in the past from Kelly Start, And I always laugh because I've done uh, his workshop a couple times, uh, you know, weekend courses. And uh, they always talk about when you're working, you're, you have to breathe through it, right? Because every once in a while you'll find a hot spot. That's usually where you have that, you know, if you don't know what fascia is, it's basically that lining that goes between your skin in your muscle tissue. And what happens is if you've ever heard someone say to you, you know, when they come up and give you a shoulder rub and it's like, oh, I found a knot, a knot in your back. Well, it's basically a little bump uh, or a knot, uh, a bunch uh, of the fascia bunching up. And uh, sometimes you gotta work through that. So you can go to a masseuse or you can do it yourself. Point being, it's a little spicy at times and you want to try to breathe through it. So when you find one of those hot spots, you just sort of hang out on it for a minute. And then it subsides. And then you just keep working it. Ooh. <laughs> but try to not make a pain face, right? That is the challenge. Anyways, good job on the, the easy peasy workout. Even though it's not really easy peasy, it's still some work. But those caterpillar stretches are so rewarding. And you always feel great after you've done them. I know I do. I'm enjoying them today. And uh, hopefully you like doing the, the 6 p.m. wad with Christy as she worked through the stretching. And uh, you're feeling good, because you should be. We're coming into like our final weekend of this phase, the, the Whole Life Fitness Manifesto. Tomorrow's video will give you some more details on what to expect with uh, how we're going to finish up this challenge. There's going to be a couple week gap, and then uh, something big's happening. Can't tell you any more than that, because Chrissy's going to help me with that video, and you'll get that tomorrow. Anyways, be well, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.